Go ahead. Make my day. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be tying up the Dirty Hairy Crab fly pattern. Um, this thing did really, really well on redfish uh, in the Outer Banks. And uh, as Harry likes to say, it's the first sort of collaboration between the two of us um, on what he started with the Dirty Harry and, you know, just adding some additional UV materials and things uh, to this fly. And um, man, it just, uh, they just absolutely crush it. Uh, so there's the crab pattern. And that's what we'll be tying up today. So before we get started, I just wanted to uh, go through some of the materials we're going to be using today. Uh, this fly is tied on a Gamagatsu SC15 1-0 hook. And we're also going to use um, the hairline double pupil uh, eyes. These are medium. Um, Harry and I have talked about using the small eyes. I, I just didn't have any here. Uh, and I'll, I'll have to order some, but um, I, I've used the medium since I started tying this and testing it out, and uh, it's been good. So there's your eyes. Uh, we're also going to use the uh, Ultra Chenille in um, fluorescent orange. Uh, the Ultra Chenille is important because it doesn't, the tail, it doesn't fall apart. Um... We're also going to be using uh, some of this flash in this like uh, brown color and also the uh, Spirit River UV Estaz Grande in black. Um, the UV is like super important here uh, because of the uh, dirty uh, tannic water in the Outer Banks. Um, everything we've been tying lately uh, has been with a lot of UV material, and the, the fish just seems to absolutely crush it. So after that, we're also going to use some uh, some dubbing. Um, I've got this from Orvis. Uh, it's just a rusty brown. Um, you can see it. It kind of glows in the light. So we're going to use that, and we're also going to mix it with... This stuff is amazing. Uh, it's the John Romer, the Spawn Simi Seal. Um, and we're going to use uh, some of the orange and a uh, little black, and we're going to blend that all together uh, on the back end of the fly. And then I also cut uh, some weed guards, uh, so I always have like a little bag of these sitting around. And that's about it on materials, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started tying this dirty, hairy crab pattern. So we're going to put that... Gamagatsu SC15 in the vise. And we're using this uh, fluorescent orange uh, Vivas thread. I really like this stuff. You can kind of crank down on it. And we're just going to put down thread base. Just back to the bend. towards the front here, and then we we're gonna clip off this tag end. And we're gonna take our orange uh, double pupil eyes and attach them. I just set them back just a little bit so that we don't run out of room on the front when we try and finish this. So I do uh, some cross wraps. And then pull tight on some under wraps.
those are real secure. And then we just take a drop of super glue and put that on there just to make sure those eyes don't roll over at all. Top and bottom. Okay. Then we're gonna add our ultra chenille tail in this orange. I know uh, Harry just ties his in. I, I like to double it over. It also helps build the body up a little bit um, for this. So, so right behind the eyes, we're gonna attach that. Come down. And then I like having that little tag end just to do some under wraps and secure that nice and good. Okay. Just a touch long, so I'll just trim that off. And then uh, I like to use a just a lighter or something and just seal that tail off. Perfect. So the next material we're going to add is just the uh, the flashaboo. So I took about three strands of that and just bent them over, uh, cut them twice. And then I like to have this come just towards the end of the tail there. And then give that like two tight wraps and then fold this over. And secure that right there. And then I'll also Keep that tail out of the way and gather up all the flashaboo. And then try and make like a little, little triangle in the back here. And then I'm gonna take this Solarez uh, UV. And I'm just gonna run just a tiny bit on this first little section of that flash. Hit it with the UV light and just pull it. There, so that'll always stay flat off the back and then that tail has some room to bounce around. A couple of these were just a little long so we can, we can trim those. Perfect. All right, looks good. So the next thing we're gonna do is add a dubbing loop. So you don't need a big one. Um, I don't know, two and a half, three inches there. And we're just gonna wrap that once, twice, around twice, just like that. And then I'll move the thread up out of the way. We're gonna attach our dubbing loop hook there. We're going to add a little bit of wax to that thread just so that dubbing stays in place. And then I like to just take the bobbin and stick it in there to keep that loop open. Okay, so our next material is going to be this uh, rusty brown uh, ice dubbing from Orvis. You don't need much. I just take like a, a little pinch there like that. And then we're gonna use the spawn uh, semi-seal. And you can see these colors here. We're gonna use this orange here, some of this black and red, and some of this bright orange. So just a little bit of each one. All right, 
so you can kind of see in the light there that's what my clump looks like of the dubbing and then I'm just gonna keep separating it and pulling it out just to mix it all together So we're mixed up here, and we're gonna go ahead and just stick this in the dubbing loop and spread it out so we don't get any thick, too thick clumps there. Okay, and then we're just gonna spin that. I'll spin it pretty tight and then um, brush it with the uh, Velcro uh, to get uh, some of it to hang off the back. All right, that looks pretty good. Hit it with the Velcro. Good. Okay, so we're just going to wrap this then, and as I wrap it, I'm just going to pull these uh, fibers back. Just try and blend that in with that flash, work it around the hook. I'll pull that down uh, pretty tight, that loop, as I'm moving it, uh, just so that I'm just kind of doing touching wraps with that with that loop. But you see how we're starting to get that, that ball there in the back? That's what we want. time here. Okay, so then I'm going to move my thread back and I'm going to capture that dubbing loop. And we're going to tie that off. And then we can clip that loop. Now take this material that was sort of stuck in the end of the loop there and pull all that back and just clean that up. Okay. Then we'll take that Velcro brush again and just Brush that all off the back. Catch that underneath. That looks great. Okay. The next thing we do is just roll it over so that now the uh, hook point is up and we're gonna add our uh, black UV chenille. So we're just gonna tie this in in the back. So I have a section, I don't know, two, three inches and I had a, I took a second before we got started here just to clean up that little bit 
um, at the tip and it's, it's a little bit easier to tie in than without like all these random strands. So we're going to set that right on the side um, facing you and we're just going to capture that and tie it in. Okay, doesn't have to be super pretty, we just need a little bit of a flat surface there to add our legs. Okay, so then I took some more of that orange ultra chenille and I have about like one inch, one inch and a half uh, legs, right? So I have one here, it's a little bit longer. So we'll put him in the back and we'll put the short ones up front. So what we're gonna, we're gonna do is kind of lay it on top and come over top with our thread and then straighten them out. And you can kind of see, you know, if you need to shorten it or lengthen it on one side, you can just kind of pull on it. Then I'm gonna come up under on this other side and wrap the opposite way. So I'll capture that twice. Make sure they're where I want them. Wrap one more time over here. And then I'm gonna kind of fold the legs back and come in front and just add a couple of wraps. All right. Perfect. So we're just gonna move up here towards the eyes a little bit and add the other set of legs. We're gonna do exactly the same thing. Just kind of lay it on there. We're gonna come over top. Now see, now this one was a little short, so I just pull on it. And since I only have a loose, loose wrap there, that's easy to maneuver. And then come the other way. Straighten them out. One more wrap that way, one more wrap this way. That lock everything in. And just fold them back a little bit. And do a couple of wraps in front. I don't know if you can see. I also burnt the ends, just the tips, to make them look a little bit more like crab legs. Just like we did on the tail, just you know. A second with the lighter. So now it's time to wrap our Estes. So I usually do about two wraps per section here. So try and get some of that material back. So that was one wrap. And two wraps. And then you're going to come and kind of separate the crab legs there. And we're going to come in between them with one, snug that down, two wraps there. And then in these front legs, we're going to do the same thing. One wrap. Two wraps. Make sure we're snug up against those eyes. Capture that with our thread. And then we can just clip this tag end off. All right, so we're basically coming towards the end here. So I used, to, I like to just kind of give it like two or three just snug wraps then up there behind the eyes. And then we're gonna move up to the front of the hook. Okay, so now we just need to add our weed guard. I have this pre-cut section of 25 pound mono and I'll just make a little loop underneath the eye there give that a couple of snug wraps and then I'll just take it and pull up on it and that'll seat right there like that 
Do a couple wraps behind. Okay, so our weed guard's standing up. Catch a couple more wraps here in the front. Right, everything's tight. Go ahead and just whip finish that. And cut our thread. Get rid of some of these straggler. Okay, so the last thing is this UV um, Loon uh, Hot Orange. I love this stuff, it really glows and it just adds something to the head of this. So I'm gonna take the weed guard and just kind of hold that in my fingers. This is why I like to have them a little long. So then I can set it right where I want it. And I'm just gonna add this UV behind. Hit it with the light. You can see how that glows. Just hit this top side. Get all our thread wraps. Okay. And then I'll just grab a hold of that weed guard. Where I want it. And go ahead and cut that off. Okay. And the last thing is just to give the dirty hairy crab a haircut and then move these legs into position where you want them and then we're basically going to trim down this front area so that it'll it'll ride flat I could sit here and trim these things all day. But now you can see we're kind of bushy on the top and flat on the bottom. And there you have the dirty, hairy crab pattern. I hope you guys enjoyed tying the uh, Dirty Harry crab fly pattern. Uh, my new uh, flyman fly fishing uh, fly tester came in the other day. So I wanted to put one of these in there and let you guys see what it looks like uh, in the water. So you can see the movement in the tail and, and the legs and that UV material. Um, redfish just seem to love it. So uh, tie some up, head down to the Outer Banks and uh, go crush some redfish. So enjoy guys. Thanks.